Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Deverian Farm in Goffstown. You see these beautiful containers before me. And joining me now is Erica Deverian, and she's going to tell you how to get something like this for your home. And Erica, these containers are spectacular Thank there. Thank you. What are the things we need to consider first when we're trying to plan a container? Um, best things, make sure all your plants are compatible. Sun, water, fertilizer are big things when it comes to plants. They all need to have similar needs so they grow well together. <laughs> yeah, in terms of now, in ter the potting soil, uh, is that what you start with or can I just go out to my garden and, <laughs> and fill these containers? No, 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 don't do that. Get some good <laughs> potting soil from a garden center, the hardware in a bag. There's some that just are plain old potting soil, some that come with a slow release fertilizer or a water retention crystal so you don't have to worry about water as much on those hot days. Okay, now the old rule of thumb, and I don't know if this still applies, used to be, you know, you wanted a uh, thriller, a chiller, <laughs> and, a, and a, a filler there. A thriller, and a, a filler, filler, and, and a spiller. Filler. Right. Um, it does sometimes, it depends on you. Yep. Some people don't like the spill effect, especially if you're putting it near the ground where that spiller is going to touch the ground. It could rot when it's on the ground. Right. Um, but just the thriller, definitely a tall something that makes it pop out mm -hmm. or a bright color like the ones with the stars in them. Yep. Um, now, in terms also, uh, um, most people think of planting the tall one in the center there, but you've obviously gone a different route with this. Depending on where you're going to put it. If you put it up against a building, then the tall thing in the back usually looks nice. If you're putting it out in the open, something in the middle with everything else around. Yeah. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how you design these, when about designing these. It's taken me a lot of years of testing and trials, um, but a lot of colors go together and people don't realize that but play with it take notes from year to year take pictures before you plant something fill your pot put your four inch pots on top play with it see what you like all right so the bottom line is have fun pick some colors that you like and uh, enjoy and maybe after a couple of years experience you'll get a container that looks like this yes <laughs> that's it for today's relic green